Hi, it's Seta here. Quite often I received questions in the comments about how I record my cinematics or final renders. So this time I will decide to prepare a short tutorial for you on how to record videos in Unity to achieve the best possible quality. So let's get started. For this tutorial I will be using the scene that I create for the previous speed design video. Before we proceed to recording the scene itself, first we need to animate our camera to move as we want and show the shots we have planned. For this purpose we can use Cinemachine, which is an extensive tool for camera tracking and it's often used for example in real-time animation to manage the camera. However, if we need simple shots, it will be much easier and faster to use a regular timeline with camera attached to it. First, we need to create an empty object. So, right click, create empty, let's name it timeline. And now let's go to the window, sequencing, timeline. Let's move this window here and click create. Let's save this and now we hit on this plus and select animation track. Now we need to attach our mine camera to the this window and create animation on the camera. And now Let's select our camera and set position to 0, 0, 0, rotation the same. Let's go back to the timeline and now we can hit this record button to record position of our camera. But first let's go to the scene camera and let's decrease the camera speed because it will be much easier for us to work with it. And now we can go back to the timeline. Now when we hit record, we can select our mind camera, move to the position when we want to start the shoot, and press Ctrl Shift F to place the camera where we are, pointing where we are currently looking. Now let's move to the position where we want the camera to end the shot and select on the timeline how long shot should be. Now again press Ctrl Shift F to move camera and create a new game frame in that position on the timeline. Thanks to this we will obtain a smooth animation between those two points. If everything looks good let's stop recording and then let's right click and select convert to clip track. Now we will add another shot to our timeline. To make it easier for us to work we will add another animation track and connect the camera to it. We will set the time to position 0 again Thanks to this we will able to precisely plan the length of the shot. Let's move to another place and start recording. Again let's select the main camera and press Ctrl Shift F to set position. Let's move to a different position, set the length of the shot and press again Ctrl Shift F to position the camera. Let's finish recording and now let's create a clip track again and place them on the top track. If we want to add another shot, we don't have to add another track. We simply create shots on the lower track and then place them on the top track. Please remember that Unity will always create an animation between two points in the straight line. So if our camera is at the wrong point during the animation, we can add a new keyframe and those correct the camera position so that it does not pass through objects. Or if we are finished recording the animation, we can double click on it 
and then manually adjust the position and rotation of the animated object. When we end creating the shots that we want to use, now we need to record them using Recorder. So first, go to Window, Packet Manager, Unity Registry, and then find Recorder and install it. After installation, we go to Windows, General, Recorder and Recorder window. Now in this new window we can change the target FPS and when we click on the Add Recorder we can choose what we want to record. We have a movie options here but you need a really powerful computer for it to work properly. So we will use the image sequence options which will create a sequence of image that we will then convert into a video. We can choose whether it should be a game view, a specific camera, 360 camera and so on. Let's choose a game view. In the output resolution we can choose a resolution of our video. So I choose 4K. In the aspect ratio you can choose aspect ratio of image. I prefer using more panoramic aspect ratio so I choose 1.9. Now you can choose output format and in the media file format I will use PNG. In the output file we can choose where the files will be saved. I recommend having quite a lot of disk space because for example if we choose 4K and records for 5 minutes those images might occupy over 80 gigabytes. When we have everything set up we can click on the start recording. This might take some time because Unity will generate an image from each frame of our animation. We can preview it by clicking on the timeline and check at what point of the animation we are. When our timeline ends, Unity will still generate unnecessary image, so it's the best to click stop recording to end this process. And that's all we need to do in Unity. Now let's go to the video editor to create a movie from the image. In this tutorial I will use DaVinci Resolve free video editor, but of course you can use any other video editors like Premiere Pro. First create a new project and then go to your Unity project and find folder recordings. The folder contains all saved image many of image. To create sequence from them, just select this three dot and change frame display mode to sequence. And this automatically create image sequence. Now you can drag and drop this image sequence here and go to edit. Drag and drop this image in the timeline. And now you can freely cut, trim, change the order of shots, add music and so on. Finally, just render the video and it's ready. That's all in this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if the video was helpful for you. Do you want to see tutorial about type of shots, how to frame a scene, how to assemble shots and other film aspects that can be used when creating a video in Unity. And until next time, see ya!